Jeanette, I just wanted to jump on quickly because there's been a topic that came up this morning that I wanted to talk to you about quickly. And it came up twice today in my virtual coaching sessions with two different uh, clients. And it is the fear of success theory. We often talk about the fear of failure and uh, that being a very common thing. And failure is okay. I think that people have really learned to embrace failure more so in this day and age. But what we don't talk about and what is a huge phenomenon out there, whether you're just getting started or thinking about getting started with a new project, new company, or new venture, or you're making tons of progress and tons of strides in your existing company or project or chapter in life, wherever you are. It's the fear of success. And I'll give you two different examples of how uh, that fear of success kind of comes through in things that, that people are saying and things and how they are said. So the one is, I want to do it, but I'm afraid that if I do this, I'm going to get too busy. I won't have time to be with my kids. I won't have time to do the things that I want to do. I'll be spread too thin or I won't know how to do this and you know that you can do it, you know that you're capable, you know that you're ready, you know that you have a good concept, a good idea, but it's just those different things that are holding you back because you know if you get too busy and you get you you get too successful that you won't have time to do the things that you want, what you really will wanna do. So just be thinking about that because the fear of success is something that will hold you back. You need to push through it because once you get to that next level, those things will will automatically really fall into place. And if you grow the right way and you grow thoughtfully and in a smart, strategic way and delegate and build around you, then you will actually have more time with your family, more quality of life, uh, better access to resources. A lot of those things won't happen. It's just like some things that we're feeding ourselves in order to not get started. The second piece of that is the, is the with the fear of success and is um, really when you have that fear, this example is um, the, the opposite of that. So someone said to me this morning, you know, um, I'm making this huge stride in my business and I'm, I doubled my business and I had a friend look at me the other day and said, you don't seem stressed. You don't seem really stressed at all. And she, she said to me, you know, Annette, I'm really not. I'm not because I've grown the right way and I've grown with the right people and I've grown while investing in myself and the right steps to take so that she doesn't feel stress, okay? So she reached out to the right resources. She invested in herself and took those steps to really uh, make the right choices as she was growing. And now her quality of life completely shows for it. So I wanted to kind of speak on both sides of that fear of success, but, but it is a thing. So if it's something that's holding you back, realize it, get through it, and everything's just waiting for you on the other side of that fear. Hope that helps. Bye.